Hi, everybody. Hello, and welcome. Vlog number two. <clears throat> well, yeah, uh, we are already back from our journey on foot around our neighborhood that mm -hmm. we, I think we're showing some parts of. Maybe, we'll see what it looks like. It was our first attempt at a traveling vlog. Without a stupid selfie stick, which we should probably invest in because... We made one. That wasn't very good. I think it was good. I mean, it wasn't it, good. It fucking sucked. My phone was sliding down the back listen, slowly. I spent a lot time. of time in planning on He that. spent three seconds duct taping my phone to a fucking drumstick and he's... I hate whatever. selfie sticks. The term itself annoys well, me. me too, but if we're going to do fucking traveling vlogs, then we're going to need one. Hello. We have a very sophisticated selfie stick that we've acquired. Thanks, Chris. All right. It's, it's actually a, it's, yeah, it's a drumstick. Hi, gang. I can't see. I'm blind. I'm trying not to wear sunglasses, but I can't see you. So we're going to take you on a walk around our neighborhood. And by sophisticated, in case you really wanted to know, he duct taped a drumstick to the back of my phone. That's, you got in these times, you know, you, you, it's... You gotta do what you gotta do. I guess so. Uh, the mother of invention. The mother. The mother. So, here's our yard. There don't appear to be any rabbits today. Oh yeah, that's because it was raining earlier. The rabbits were all the fuck out of here. Some water yeah. from the rain. Yeah. Not today. They're not. They're not. Uh, I don't know. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good, how are you guys? Good. Good. Dropping my box. You're dropping your box. You gotta hold on to the box. <laughs> you don't want to drop the box. We're taking you guys on a uh, magical journey to a uh, dumpster. Yeah. Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. So we're on a epic journey to the beer store. We were told there's a beer store. Let's find out if there is. Let's find out. Huh. Okay, we're coming up to a corner. You guys can't see here. The oh. magic. Little bird right over there. Oh, there he is. This is our rough and tumble hood. It's super rough. You might find a land beaver and it might go through your yard they and scare might you. actually find a land beaver. Those land there. beavers are fucking huge. They scare the shit out they of me. Are. They're also known as ground I'll show you one of my favorite signs of one of the worst pizzerias around here. <laughs> Fast delivery, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> because the answer is no, it is not fast. Probably not, but <laughs> not maybe. Fast. But yes, Vlog. we made it to the beer store. We made it to the beer store and back. We saw our, our friend Malfi the cat. He's Hopefully cool. I have He's footage orange. of him. His owner was out, like I was saying, so I didn't know if that was Nobody weird to be like, cat. let me film your cute little kitty. Yeah, she's nice, but you but never yeah, know so if people are gonna get squirrely to about we'll filming their cat. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it happens. the beer store sells these super delicious beer slushies yeah they do i think i'll put down this is actually a kurz light not a pbr it's a pbr koozie it's over it's like a scooby-doo thing i would have gotten away with drinking my kurz light as a pbr if not for those darn kids it would have been a hip the doofus yeah well. no offense if you like pbr anyway so they sell these delicious beer slushies and then they sell this shot that's about 18% alcohol, 17.5, if you want to be exact and you're looking it up and you're like, here, Jackie, you lied to me. But uh, it's 17.5% alcohol. So you dump it in there and it kind of turns it into a cocktail because it's about the strong brand. Well, it is much. a cocktail. Well, you're a cocktail, but I still hang out with you. Yeah, cocktail. I'd like to say hello to our friends in Hammerlock out there in Oakland, California. Yeah, we missed your freaking live stream. Yeah, we suck. I wanted one. to watch it. Do another one. We want to watch it. Have you ever checked out the song uh, Brotherhood by Boston's own... D-Y-S. You can sing that Hammerlock, 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 true till death, instead of brotherhood. Do try it. I don't know. You guys should do that. Just give me credit. You don't need to try that. You could try. <laughs> so, hope you all have been having a lovely apocalypse. That's what you do if you're a real bartender. You go. No. Nah. <laughs> That's what John Taffer says. I hate that guy. Not a real show. bartender unless you go. I used to like what to watch that show to get angry because it's fun, right? To watch stuff to get angry sometimes, but that guy just sometimes. fucking is the worst. I mean, you know, he he's in the nightclub hall of fame. Yeah, he made up the nightclub <laughs> hall of fame. <laughs> that was one thing that was funny. Yeah, so we used to watch the show just because it would it's annoying. And uh 
He would go on and on about the nightclub hall of fame, how he was the first member in, in, in the nightclub hall of fame. So we finally looked it up. It's his thing, the nightclub. <laughs> he made it up. It exists, I guess, but he's the one who made it up. He's probably, I don't even think he inducted anyone besides himself into it. So. <laughs> I need to make my own hall of fame. You're not allowed in there. We're in the Chesty Malone hall of fame True. for sure. So we released another quarantine cover gang. Which one, Void? Yes. I'm losing track at this point. You're losing track. It was like yesterday. Yeah. You don't one remember yesterday? One day bleeds into the next around here these days. <laughs> so we released quarantine cover number two, and it was Void. I think we did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys thought about it. It's too bad there's you no active know. Void Facebook page to share it this time so we can see if anyone wanted to hate on it. I posted it in the Discord Records fan group and mm. a bunch of people liked it. Oh, you didn't tell me. Yeah. There was only one comment, but there was a bunch of likes and yeah. stuff. Okay. One guy so said, great song story. and great vid. So I'm assuming that means he likes it. The video is fun if you want to see it. I get to murder him. Check it out. It's on our new channel, which tell your friends about our channel. Do it. We need Hit subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like, button, bro. It's all so annoying. Hate that. But yeah, all these you, fucking terms and all this shit out of me. It's so stupid. YouTube basically won't let you do anything except upload videos that don't get any, well, I don't know, recognition or... Unless you have a thousand subscribers. You have subscribers. to have at least a thousand subscribers. We have like 90. So... <laughs> Help us get to a thousand Help. subscribers, Help. gang. Mm -hmm. We're going to start uploading stuff all the time. We have quarantine mm -hmm. cover videos coming. We have our, our now world famous vlogs. We'll do some cooking vlogs. ones. Oh, yeah, we should. The term is vlog. It's a vlog. That's what I officially named the fucking channel. So it's uh, the vlog. You did not name the channel. I named the fucking video vlog. So it's a vlog. The channel is called Chesty Malone. It doesn't matter. There's still the Chesty Malone vlog. It's this vlog. is Chesty Malone vlog number two. You call two. it a vlog or a blog? A it's a vlog. <laughs> I will call it a vlog now. Let's see. What do you guys want to hear about? Let us know in the comments below what you like to hear about from us. Yeah. We could tell you about the time we drove to Chicago. Oh, that was a good story. December of 2008, Chesty Malone. We did a mini tour of the Midwest. I should also throw in for hilariousness about our situation. We had this tour booked and we lost our band member. Well, we, our like, bass player quit a week a before week. <laughs> the fucking tour. It was just so stupid. Like, <laughs> because we, that's what happens. We would never band, book really anything great. exactly yeah. without getting everybody's, you know, hey, I want to do it. Hey, do you mm -hmm. want to do this? Yeah, I want to do it. Okay, cool. Are you sure? So I yeah. booked a fucking tour. And, and this, then guy this guy was like, was hey, all, I'm not going to do it. I don't want to do it a yeah. week before. So You know who you are. <laughs> if he's still coherent enough. and I don't know I what happened to that guy. I a fucking mess. I used to see him around in the neighborhood. Mess. but Big old Brooklyn mess. I don't know. He was a nice guy. And then all of a sudden that happened. And then he, he decided he was mad at us because he quit a man a week he before. He was such a weirdo. I won't name him because nah, whatever. A lot of people probably but know him. A lot of people probably know him. Day. But remember, he was like a professional, like jazz bass player or he something a, like that. He was like, like a jazz Wikipedia guitar player and stuff. So, but and I then, don't really know how what he really did. But, but then, yeah. like, if we watch old videos where he's in the band, like he's not even kind of playing the same there's song a as the rest of there's us. There's a like, couple of live not. videos of us, and he's playing songs. He's not just making noise. But he's playing like the wrong songs, not yeah. just the wrong part of the right song. He's just not. He's not. He's playing different songs. Yeah, like he's like another. Like, fucking, one time I was listening, I, I was like, "Why does he it sound so bad?" And I started like really paying attention. I was like, "Well, he's playing one of our songs, but it ain't the one the rest of us are playing." Sure, fucking isn't. So anyway. Yeah. So he quit. He quit. Called my old <laughs> which pal, is for the best. Eric Brutel, Eric, Eric. Seven Layer Brito. Seven layers and, of Eric Yeah, Brito. he was down. He was awesome, actually. I was like, I knew if one guy could do it, it would be Eric. It was he, less than a week to go for the he show. He learned the songs better than, like, anybody ever did. Yeah. And then fucking, he, like, it was like he was never not in the band. Yeah. He just knew what he was doing. So, the tour was great, and we played in well, Chicago we, is why this is a well, funny the first night story. Well, was in, uh, since, no, Cleveland. Cleveland. That first was a really was cool bar. We played at the Jigsaw, if anybody... Is from that area and remembers that. that Parma, Ohio, really which is cool. actually the neighborhood had, of uh, Cleveland. Get the name. It had puzzles all over it. Yes, uh, that's actually the part of Cleveland that the Dead Boys were from. Mm -hmm. Parma, Ohio. If you didn't know. 
I remember being like, I would have worked around that. Remember the promoter was like, oh, that's really cool that you're playing tonight, but I was gonna have you guys open for the Super Suckers, but you said you wanted a Friday night. And I was like, I would have switched the dates around. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do people just fucking tell me when I'm booking it? Don't tell me after as a fucking afterthought. Hear that, promoters? Tell me. Fucking talk to me. So you also got to point out that it was December and uh, so we're East Coasters and I spent a few years living in California, but not a whole lot of firsthand knowledge of the Midwest and how ridiculously sub-zero antarctic weather it gets starting in like september that was like so, cold i've never december knew was possible. in the that midwest was like, was, your bones hurt it's so yeah, fucking cold, it was like cold. If people who live in chicago i don't know how you do it you're That's carving fucking, you're through nuts. woolly mammoths to go to the deli insane. which they don't have delis anyway they don't have delis they have anyway bright aids. they have bright aids um and i was wearing like a fucking mini skirt and i didn't bring a jacket on tour and all i had was a fucking like <laughs> my, I think it was my NA hoodie that I fucking doesn't even zip up. So I, I like, had a hoodie that I stole die. from your mom. His, her mom had a sporting goods screen printing shop in Long Island. And uh, this was awesome. If I was only going to bring one jacket, it was a thermal hoodie. It was awesome. It was really thick. I still had it. Good, good, good hoodie. It was actually really warm. It was like, had a thermal. That's cool. I yeah. froze to death. But, uh, so the first night we're in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh... As cold as balls. The other band was Johnny Mohawk. Was the name of the band? The guy I don't. He had a gigantic <laughs> mohawk. He it was a, like a all five I remember, foot mohawk. I, I don't remember what the band sounded like, ever. but I remember he had Budweiser tattooed across his back. Remember? He did, he did. And I was like, "Are you at least like sponsored by them or something?" He was, he was like, like, "No, man, no, I, I just love Budweiser." Love Budweiser. <laughs> so. we, there's a picture. I think it's on the MySpace page, which doesn't exist, I guess. If you're out there, but, Johnny Mohawk, we remember. Hey, you. buddy, you're a good this, this dude. one's for you, I guess. So so that was cool, and then we were asking the guy, the owner of the club, where there was a cheap hotel, and he said, just stay here, I have a bunch of apartments upstairs. Wasn't that upstairs. in Chicago? No. No, that was in a, oh, okay. I'm this a little... This is why it's good that I'm around. So this guy, the owner, proprietor of the Jigsaw Saloon, tells us, don't waste your money, you can stay in one of my empty apartments upstairs. And, and then, he, like he, I was saying, he... He told us we couldn't park in the, the bar's parking lot, but there was a driveway around the corner that was cool where the employees parked their cars. And I was like, I had the forethought to even ask, is that going to be cool in the morning when they open? Are they going to know? Are they, or are they going to be pissed that somebody's parked there? And he was like, oh, no, no, I'll let them know, uh, blah, blah, blah. But he didn't. And they were pissed, and they parked us in, and they were <laughs> mad when we went in to tell them it was us. And, um, so that was weird and annoying. And then also... The apartments, apparently, for whatever reason, he had forcibly evicted everybody. Right. And he also hadn't afforded them the courtesy of getting their stuff. So, us and one of the barbacks he sent up with us to show where they were, he didn't have the keys to any of the apartments either. So they broke down the fucking so door. So me and this barback, he, he was trying to kick the door, and you can't kick a door, and you gotta... Luckily, the, the Fonz was here to... So, I've actually broken in a door before, for not illegal reasons, mm -hmm. but I did. And, uh, so yeah, we broke into one, and, and uh, it was gross. All this dude's stuff was in there, and beddings, and, like, dirty sheets. And My pillows. one regret is not stealing Ouch. his duck phone. Well, you, we were still, I was trying to be, like, I was trying to be totally <laughs> cool and, like, ethical, and we were like, we're not going to take anything out of here. But I'm sure those people never got their stuff back, so... This guy had a whole bunch of like trinkets and stuff around, and, and a duck phone. And a duck phone, and uh, so yeah, so we stayed there. And, and I think we did take a couple books and matches that were funny that he had lying around. Yeah, I think we took like a button that said something about uh, like a non-alcoholic beer or something. Yeah. And so for some reason, Eric was more than happy to take the guy's dirty sheets. Yeah, he slept in bed. his fucking. Bed. And then Angel like slept on the guy's couch. Angel, yeah. a drummer. We slept on the Angel. floor like civilized people. So we were both like really grossed out by the whole thing. And, and so we had brought not sleeping bags, but blankets and pillows of our own. That's one thing we did. We didn't bring jackets, but we brought <laughs> pillows and blankets. I knew I wanted to sleep comfortably. I so didn't know we I just to be sat there. down on the floor. But that's another thing that the owner of the jigsaw didn't bother to tell us is that he the heat was turned off the second the club closed. Yeah. 
So it was so and it was fucking cold uh, as it was outside. Like, you have <laughs> no idea. You might sit there and go, oh, whatever. So what? Oh, blah, blah. You can deal. No, it was so it's fucking cold. cold. Like, it wasn't dealable. Like, oh, whatever. No. Talk. It was, like, it really cold. Yeah. And, and then... And then all of a sudden... So we're in the living room, whatever. It's a small... It's bigger efficiency technically is just one room, so it's technically a one bedroom apartment, I guess. But it was really, really small, and there was a bedroom, and then a kitchen, and then the shitter. And uh, well, all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, we're we're on the floor, right in front of the bathroom, kind of. And I'll, I should point this out: the bathroom, when you turned it on, it, it was a light, and then there was another switch for a fan that was really loud, and which like would have been bathrooms. good. You know, as yeah. a lot of bathrooms, you know, in modern civilized society have. So anyway, Eric all of a sudden apparently had a massively bad case of the diarrheas. <laughs> and it went on all night. <laughs> so loud. He like, was, <laughs> <laughs> And then shrapnel. It sounded like a screaming Jay Hawkins constipation blue. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then the splashing and stuff like that. And, and he never turned on the fan is why not I brought that up. He never once, tried to. Not once. He never tried to cover so it, just, man. All I don't know. Long and so, Angel's snoring fucking Angel out slept cold, through the whole thing. And Eric has explosive and fucking diarrhea. And he's stepping over us as if he's like... Yeah, he's walking. We were like... Them. I was dying because I was like cracking up really bad. I mean, we were trying not to because obviously the guy was going through some, you know, serious, serious time. And uh, all night long. It just, it, like, I couldn't sleep anyway, I guess. It's, a, it's not that bad. Of, no. But, I mean, it was bad, but... Uh, so yeah, so we make it through the night. Angel slept. Hey, buddy. I, I was, you know, good. Good for you. He was like, "What? What happened?" We were like, <laughs> anyway. So that was our big. Yeah, we go out and then we're double parked in, night. and the people are really po. Mm -hmm. You can tell like someone's attitude of like. It wasn't just like, oh, I'll sort of park because I have nowhere else to park, but I'm cool about it. Let me know. It was like, Bruh! like parked right up on our ass, and they were mad and. Even so, when we went in to tell them, oh, it's us, we're leaving, the guy said we could, they were still, they weren't like, oh, okay, cool, they were like, uh, you know. So even though he had explosive diarrhea, Eric ended up being in the band for a long fucking time. It was. Even though uh, he canceled rehearsal once for another bout of explosive diarrhea. Did Remember that? that? I was pretty PO'd about that. I was like, you What did he say? What diet, part of I have the shit, Steve? I don't understand. <laughs> yes, exactly like what he that. Said. When I was trying to be like, dude, you can't cancel and rehearsal. And this was back when we were paying for an hour right. like space. So you can't so cancel. You couldn't cancel. It's not like going down to mom's basement and you go, oh, we'll right. do it another time, or whatever. So you get charged for it. We had to pay $35 an hour to not do anything because Eric was shitting himself. Yeah, I think it was 25 an hour. Whatever. Yeah wasn't cool and yeah so what part of i have the shits do you not understand Urgh. change your diet food. so yeah. yeah that happened but yeah. uh then we got to chicago the next day nobody in the band other than i was the only asshole in the band that had a driver's license so i had to drive the whole way we lived in yeah we lived in brooklyn and i had to go all the way up to harlem to get the van to begin with and it has to be me because nobody has a goddamn driver's license but me. So In my defense, I want to learn how to drive and mm -hmm. teach me. She's scary. So anyway, so yeah, I drove all the way through the mountains in a raging storm to get to Ohio and then I the next day I get up after not sleeping and being subjected to Eric's really bad, horrendous <laughs> projectile. The man diarrhea. with the terrible smell. <laughs> And we get to Chicago finally, and the place was closed. It wasn't open yet. It was like five o'clock. We were just sitting it's in the van, just like hell shot cold. It was so ridiculous. And I apparently, we were gonna die. apparently nobody shovels their walks here no, in, in snow Chicago. Was up to like fucking here there was like snow everywhere and whatever, but there was just layers of like ice, like fucking Siberia, the tundra. Ironically, though, I ice. guess it's because you people out there are used to that kind of weather. That was the most hoppinest show of our tour. Well, spent yeah, so, fucking, well, so when the guy finally rolls up night. the gate and opens the club... Um, that was a cool club that's also not there anymore. What was it called? The Metal... Like the metal jar. Metal Shaker. Ah, metal, metal Shaker. Metal shaker. Was a cool place metal jar. I, I, I was wondering if this was like a thing that every Chicago venue has just to try to be cool or something, but there was a plaque 
on the wall. It's the first time, I, only time I've ever seen it. I was kind of like, well, okay. There was a there was a plaque on the wall over by the bathroom where some mobster had been murdered in that spot back in the like 30s or something. So whatever. But uh, spooky. Yeah. So we roll into the place and we're all just kind of sitting there at the bar. The club, the the bartender let us in. And obviously nobody else there yet. And we were kind of just like, ah. Uh, like we just got out of the shit in Vietnam, man, <laughs> or something. And, it was that traumatizing. And so the bartender, the bartender noticed, and he's like, was. "Are you guys okay?" And we were like, "It's cold, man." And he goes, "It's not cold in New York." And we were like, "Not, that not like this, man. Not no. like this." It was a whole new level of cold. Yeah. But yeah, so then a bunch of people come out because I guess they're used to it. Yeah, there was, a lot of, there was a lot of weirdos. It was it was a great show. We had a great night, and I liked the bands we played. But there were so many weirdos. Remember the one band was trying to give me all this body lotion and they were like your skin is so soft and i was like cool but it, was, it was it was really weird like cause, yeah people liked us and it was cool and we actually sold killers. a shitload of merch but yeah i was just sort of sitting there watching everybody try to talk to you after we played and i'm yeah. like all right when when do i should i jump in because yeah. this is definitely getting weird and, and I, well, why, the reason no. why it was so weird is because it wasn't just like one or two guys it was like everybody, everybody in there was telling her she was smelled so good. everyone was like you smell good and your skin's nice yeah. and i'm like when did you touch my skin <laughs> like when did it happen yeah, <laughs> and they're like you smell but good. so this was kind of I, I was, I was sitting like, there just like i said hard. watching things and deciding when i was going to have to jump in and then all of a sudden one of the dudes comes up to me and he goes that, that's your old lady huh and i was like yeah and he's like all right well, all right then. Well, you guys are married then, right? That's your wife. And we weren't yet, but we were. So I said, yeah. And he goes, all right, fuck that. This ain't cool. It's one thing. And I was like, oh, what a cool guy. He goes, he goes, if it was just your girlfriend, I'd say too fucking bad. But whatever fucking Chicago accent is, I don't even fucking know. But he's like, if it was just your girlfriend, I'd be like too fucking bad. But that ain't cool if that's your wife. So I'm, I fuck that. And I was like, cool, yeah, do my fucking light work. And. And he actually did. He went over and was like, all right, everybody, all right. Yeah. But then they were like, you can keep the lotion. Yeah. So he, he like, acted at her as her, like, personal security so fucking guard. Weird. You're great, America. Chicago, you fucking weirdos. And then we good. stayed. Yeah. We stayed till, like, 4 in the morning. It was at least 3.30 or yeah, something. And we were like, we got to go. Because yeah. we were playing in Harrisburg, PA the next day, which is actually, if you do the math, it's kind of a hike. And, uh. So we we're like, we gotta get on the road, and everyone was like, like mad at us, like, mm -hmm. oh, we wish you could hang out more. Like, like well, you're, you're not gonna, gonna come party out. with us. We're already like, it's already like, like three, whatever. In the we've been hanging morning. out for like, we've been Partying. here since five, and we've been here for almost twelve hours. Yeah. So. So we were a major disappointment, in other words. <laughs> no, I think I, I think there's still people in Chicago that yeah. like us, but. I don't know. Are you in Chicago? Yeah. You like Let us know in the comments Let below us know. if you want us back, Chicago. Tell your friends. Don't smell me. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, that, was, that was weird. Those people were weird. They were cool though. Um, we our song uh, "Bloodthirsty, Hungry, and Mean" is about that whole mini tour. If you want to read the lyrics, pay attention yeah. now that you know the backstory. Mm -hmm. There you Strange go. Strange noises echo through the night. It's about Eric. It's about your diarrhea, Eric. Yeah, we don't know whatever happened Hi, to him. Eric. Eric disappeared. Eric. Hopefully he's okay out there Hopefully somewhere. He's okay. in Bushwick. We still like you, dude. Because <laughs> we don't, can't say that about all our past band members. Yeah, we're basically cool with every, almost everybody that was ever almost in the band. Almost everybody. Some of you. Ugh. I mean, most people, there's only like really one guy that I can think of that I'm like. One and a half? Yeah. I mean, not everybody's two super and a quarter. cool. Yeah, maybe, maybe like two. <laughs> Not two enough. and a maybe there's also a you almost were in the band but no yeah you know those those people you're, there, you're in a band you understand this quite. there was one guy i'm not gonna name him either there was one guy he was never even in the band he rehearsed with us once yeah. and then he didn't show up to the next one and i wasn't even like i didn't care i just was like no nah, whatever I guess then. Not then, yeah and then he was mad at me and us because i was like Brain freeze. he he was he came via our old bass player at the time so I told, he was the contact. I didn't even have the guy's number. I was like, let him know that that's it. You can't not show up to verse. rehearsal and then think you're still in the Again, band. Again, hourly. But expensive. that's all I said. I wasn't like, tell him go fuck himself or anything, which I would still be right about that if I did tell him, tell him that. But what? I didn't. I just said, tell him no, that's it. And then all of a sudden he was posting on, this was back in MySpace. <coughs> he was posting on MySpace about what assholes we are and stuff like that. And good luck finding a drummer, right. which we already had a drummer anyway not you <laughs> yeah so uh, yeah that was lovely so this guy would tell people for years 
he was around New York and in and out of various bands constantly because mm -hmm. that's what he would do. Remember that time Chesty Malone screwed me? But that's what he would tell people. He would tell people he was in our band. He would tell people he was in Chesty Malone and what asshole. Liar. He was, which he never was. Lie. Rehearsed no, you are if you're yeah. watching this to be a dick. <laughs> Dick. Yeah, whatever. I don't give a I shit. Don't he, he didn't even play a show. He rehearsed exactly one time with us, and it wasn't all that good. But hey, whatever. You know, maybe he's gotten good now. I don't know. I'm Miracle sure he would say, "Man, it's like some of sucks." Whatever, man. It's all good. All right. Well, we're reaching the video is long mark. Do you have anything else you'd like to add, or should we say, "Smell you later" on this one? All right. I think that's a vlog. It's a vlog. Tell your friends about Smash our channel. Smash the buttons, bro. Hit the subscribe, notifications. And um, we gotta have like a, a saying, like stay, stay sick, turn blue, but we're not gonna use that because that's not ours, but something like that. Eat shit. There you go.